Welcome back, laser community. Hey, if you're not into lasers, go ahead and watch too. You might change your mind. Anyhow, this is Stephen with S&J Custom Works. And as you can see, we are outside today. That's because I am in the laser hut. So, if you've been following my videos so far, you have seen that we have painted our tiles. And you have seen that we have edited our images to make them ready for engraving. On my screen here, I've already imported it. This is one of the images that we downloaded. I really like this image. It was the favorite one I pulled out. So we're really hoping for a good burn. First thing I want to do is take a preview of it. As you can see here, I've got my invert checked. That's because it is going to invert when I engrave. If we turn that off, that's what you're going to see. That is what we would get if it was not inverted, but we already did that. So, all right. I'm liking the way that looks. 36, 47, you know, that's a little bit fast for what I usually get tiles done. So the next thing I want to do is come over here to my library. All right. I did some painted canvas yesterday. We're not interested in that. We're going to go to white tile down here at the bottom. And it's not going to let me click it, so we will just minimize our screen. And if you notice, now I can see it. So we're going to click on white tile. Now, I do have a couple of our presets already loaded. I'm going to go with the red black, but we're going to edit that some. So we know we're going to do this at 120. Now, I do set up for inches per minute. So... If you're using millimeters per second or millimeters per minute, remember that you're going to have to edit that. Now, I will tell you, all you have to do is punch that into Google, uh, convert 120 inches per minute to millimeters per minute. It'll spit out your number. Everything's great. Uh, now, this 17.5, that's pretty high for what I'm doing today. I'm going to change that. And this is a little bit of an experiment. We're going to go down to 14% power. When you're doing these tiles, the trick to them is low and slow. All right. So I think, oh, I think I'm not doing this right. I forgot to assign. So now we are 120 inches per minute. 14% power. I better change this back to 17.5. I will forget. All right, this is how I want it set up. This is the image I want. The next thing we're going to do, and I will have to change cameras, we're going to frame this out and see what happens. Give me a second and I will be right back with you. All right, we have switched over to my camcorder. Give me just a minute and we are going to frame this project and see how it looks. All right. I'm liking the way that looks. Now, if you remember when we edit our, edited the image yesterday, I told you that it was going to be just a little bit larger than my tile. And the reason for that is I want it to go outside of the bounds a little bit. I want to make sure that tile is covered edge to edge. My framing looks good. Everything looks like it's set. We're going to go ahead and start this burn. Now, I will tell you, while making this burn, I will be wearing my laser safety glasses because, as you can see, I took off the laser shield so you can get a better look. And we're off to the races.
Now you can see that laser dot is a little off the tile. That's exactly what I'd expected and exactly what I want. It will get there. We're, we're just fine. I'm one of those people, I run Air Assist for every project. It just helps keep the lens a little cleaner. And I'm not real great about cleaning my lens. Back this out a little. I saw that it was a little out of focus. I'm sorry about that. Alright, we're just going to let this run. As you can see, it is coming right along. I'm starting to really like some of the colors we're seeing. It's probably oh, a quarter of the way done. It's still got a minute to go. I just wanted to let y'all see how it's coming along. Don't rush these people. I'm serious. It, you'll really be a lot happier with the results. But I am loving this X-Tool D1 Pro 10 watt. I've put out some uh, pretty good looking tiles with this. Hopefully this one will be another. While that's burning, just a quick view of my laser pups. These guys come hang out with me when I'm burning something. Makes it a little bit more pleasant. When they stick with me. And we are done. Let me wash this up and we'll see what we ended up with. So here we have our final tile. That came out just as good as I could hope for. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, but right in this area there is a little bit of green. It is a darker green, not the John Deere green, but I'll take it. It looks good. For washing this, all I did was run it under a tap and scrub it with my thumb, then use a paper towel to lightly dry it off. The last step is to hit it with some clear coat. When you're doing your clear coat, make sure you spray it in two coats. The first coat is going to be a light coat that just kind of barely covers it. Then you'll let that dry. Once it's dried, you come back and you hit it with a bit of a heavier coat and that'll really get it sealed in. I can tell you from experience that you can use these as coasters. I've got one I've been using for oh, a while now and it's got no scratches, no anything on it. It still looks good but you do have to, like I said, hit it with the clear coat. It'll be sealed. I want to thank all of you for joining me today. And I hope you've liked this video series. This will conclude it. This is Steven with S&J Custom Works. Thanks, and I'll see y'all later.